Recently I came across this video making the rounds and the comments on it were what you'd expect. The driver installed rear facing super bright LED lights and is being a menace to everyone on the road. However, you would probably expect someone like this to be in the left lane tailgating someone, but they're not. I was looking at this wondering what wiring job led to this happening in the first place. I think these were wired up in a way to be considerate to other drivers and it backfired. Let me explain. First off, my assumption for these lights is that they are meant to be extra bright reverse lights which are super beneficial when you need to use a backup camera at night. Backup cameras tend to have a grainy picture in the dark because they have to compensate by making the camera sensor extra sensitive to light. Even professional photo and video cameras have this issue. So with these lights, if they were wired directly to the battery, there would be no way to turn it off, and this truck would have never turned over to get to the highway to begin with. So for the reverse lights, the obvious next thought is, why not just wire them up to the existing reverse light circuit? That's possible, but you do have to consider how many amps it can handle, because even though LED lights are quite energy efficient, LEDs this bright can still draw some decent amperage. However, you might not want to put these spotlights on for backing out of a parking spot, so the next logical step is to put them on a driver-controlled switch. This is what I think is going wrong here. The lights are wired up to a switch somewhere, and they are either turned on and forgotten, or the switch was bumped into by accident. Either way, the lights being directly controlled via a switch isn't the way to do it. A lot of custom jobs like this just end up with the bare minimum and don't end up including a hey you left the lights on warning light. Even if it did have that, what you really want here isn't too much more complicated than the basic switch idea though, and it combines the driver's control switch with the reverse light functionality. What needs to be done here is a relay needs to be installed with power heading to the switched side from the reverse lights. That power comes through the relay to that driver controlled switch and then continuing on to complete the circuit. The switched side of the relay can then get power from the battery directly through a fuse properly selected for your lights and then to the lights. What you get with this setup is control over these extra bright reverse lights but you eliminate any chance of these lights being on when you're driving down the road like this. The relay only ever allows the lights to be switched on when the reverse light power is active, so you can have your extra bright lights when you're backing up to a trailer in the middle of a field at night, and you can turn it off when you're backing out of a parking spot and only need the basic reverse lights. Plus, no matter how forgetful you are, you'll never have to worry about being recorded doing this. But I wasn't there. Maybe this guy is being intentionally spiteful while not speeding off to tailgate someone. It's possible, but I saw this video and thought it would be an interesting opportunity to dissect a problem and maybe save someone from accidentally being this guy in the future. Be considerate out there folks, and thanks for watching.